the first step is to identify the payer or the beneficiary most of the times the beneficiary is the payer who is going to actually get this rebate in the context of a supermarket you are the card holder you are the payer you are the beneficiary you are the ship to you are the sold to but like you know in a b2b there could be different partners in a transaction and who is the beneficiary that's going to get this rebate sometimes there could be more than one beneficiary for a transaction in which case there could be more than one rebate agreement but let's not get into that a simple example of a beneficiary for a rebate is the payer so the first thing that you have to do go to the sales view and go to the billing documents tab and activate rebates so this has to be done in the sales view billing documents tab of the payer and mark that payer as relevant for rebates step number 2 is to create a rebate agreement the transaction to create a rebate agreement is vbo o as in orange it's not zero it's o so vbo1 and it's under master data agreements rebate agreements so vbo1 and then you create your rebate agreement there could be many kinds of rebate agreements the reason is for a single transaction it's not just one rebate there could be multiple rebates that are happening so a rebate agreement holds the key for sap to understand what kind of a rebate agreement it is how long it's valid what are the different condition types that i should be hitting so on and so forth we'll talk more about them in detail and then as soon as you go into a rebate agreement you have a description you can give a meaningful description this is really key because unless you give a meaningful description it could be confusing because all that sap gives back is a number 91 92 93 or these agreement numbers don't mean anything unless you go back to the description and who is the rebate recipient this is that payer the beneficiary of that rebate right these are the key things and then you say when you're going to settle are you going to settle by the end of the year For example, I could be creating this rebate agreement on third March, twenty eighteen. But because the agreement type says that the validity period is end of the year, it automatically defaults to the first of January twenty eighteen and twelfth of December or thirty first of December twenty eighteen. So this is based on what kind of settlement period you specify. in the rebate agreement type and then you create an agreement and then you start adding the pricing conditions where you specify the percentage or the dollar amount of rebate that should apply based on that particular sale and as you know that's all based on condition technique so this material let's say mo1 gets an accrual amount of Two dollars. So this is not a percentage, but a dollar value. It could be percentage. Depends on the condition type. If you define the condition type as percentage, you can specify percentage in the condition record. If not, it will be a dollar amount, right? And then you start creating transactions. Let, let's go see that in SAP. So first thing is VD zero three or zero two, customer master sales view. and say the customer is 1200 and the sales area is 101000 go to the sales view billing tab and rebate should be enabled if not if they are not enabled or if you are creating a new customer go enable that if you don't you can do rebates for that customer okay There is another thing called enabling rebates for the sales org. We'll see that later because it's already enabled for thousand. If you are creating a new sales org, you might have to enable for that sales org. That's a small detail. Don't worry. There are three places where rebates need to be activated. I'll talk about it at a later point. For now, 
First thing is activate rebates for that payer. The second thing is you go create a rebate agreement. Logistics, sales and distribution, master data, agreements, rebate agreement, and then create. VB01, O as an orange. And then what kind of rebate agreement are we creating? Say we are creating a material rebate, right? Meaning we are giving a rebate on a particular material. 0002, that's the rebate agreement type. Hit enter. And who is the payer? 1200, right? We are giving a rebate for a particular payer. And like I said, we are creating it in the middle of the year, but it defaults from 1st January 2018 till the end of 2018. That is basically based on the settlement period. So don't worry about that. I just want to show how the periods are being defaulted. And then click on conditions. So we want to give, uh, say, $100 okay, to a particular material, say M O three hundred dollars or 100 euros. Right? So the accrual for every single sale, meaning per piece, unit of measure is per piece. The accrual for every piece, irrespective of the price of the piece, is 100 euros. Right? Good. Save it. And we're good. Next, we start to create transactions. All we have to do is select that payer or sold to and select that material. It doesn't matter what our quantity, you can put whatever quantity. And over there in pricing for the invoice, not for the sales order, for the invoice, you should be able to see that whatever amount you specified in the condition record shows up there based on the quantity or percentage, depending on how you configure your condition type. The condition type here, the standard condition type is B O 2 It's not B 2 it's B O orange 2 We're going to create our own condition types at a later point, but I want to show you the standard thing that's available in every IDA system. You don't see that in a sales order, this condition type. See, it's on the invoice, but you don't see that on the sales order because there is a requirement, requirement number 24, that suppresses showing rebate amounts on the sales order. You can remove that requirement, it doesn't harm you. Everything goes fine and um, you can see the rebate amount in the sales order as well. The reason those amounts are suppressed in the sales order is because, you know, what you see in the sales order might not be the actual sale amount, right? You might order for quantity of 10 and deliver only 8. So, the rebate only applies to a quantity of 8, right? So, just to avoid the discrepancy, that requirement suppresses showing rebate amount in the sales order. But if you want, you can enable it just as an estimate. But on the invoice, you should definitely be able to see how much has been accumulated. So, our rebate agreement is ready. So, we can start creating a sales order, right? So, VA01 OR 101000 Customer is 1200 The material is MO3 and then uh, we're going to order say a quantity of 50 or let's say 100 just so that the multiplication factor is easy. Looks like 100 is not available, so that's fine. We'll confirm a quantity of 100 for a later date and save this order for now. Now we need to be able to deliver that quantity, right? And then invoice it. And because stock is not available, we'll be stuck at delivery anyway. So I'm gonna quickly put in the stock. A really huge quantity. This is a number range issue. You don't have to really worry about this. But since I've started, I need to finish this. So it says that a number range is not available for a particular fiscal year. I'm doing this transaction for 2018, right? So I need a number range for 2018. 
and the number range is 49 the fiscal year is 2018 right and what should be the number range here it should be 49 all the way through four lines document has been posted now you should have that stock so let's go to VA02 and try to deliver that order that we have created. So this is the order number 13937 for MO3. So let's try and deliver this. No schedule lines due, that's okay. We're gonna change the date. 1003, we're gonna make it 1004 April, and that should work. Let's go pick it. The quantity is grayed out, that means this is relevant for warehouse management. So go to subsequent functions, transfer order. You want to save your data, yes. Now this is not really relevant for a rebate, but since you'll be doing this in your own system, in your own IDA system, or wherever you have got it from, you'll face all these issues. So you might as well go through all this save this should save the transfer order and if you go back to your delivery you should be able to do a pgi now yep delivery is saved okay now go invoice it we have zero one for that delivery and double click that line item go to conditions and you should see B002. And what's the amount here? 10,000 euros. Why? Because the quantity is 100 and the amount of rebate that we're giving is $100 for every piece. So 100 into 100 is 10,000. The total rebate that's being given is $10,000. You should also observe that it's a statistical condition type, meaning this 10,000 does not really affect the pricing right what's the price of a hundred of these products the unit price is nine four four nine zero meaning nine hundred and forty four euros ninety cents or whatever quantity is hundred so multiply nine forty four with hundred you get ninety four thousand four hundred and ninety euros but that's not affected with the ten thousand dollar rebate that we're giving right See the net price? It's not affected. It's still 94,000. The tax is additional on top of that. Now, if you are worried about why this $10,000 is being subtracted and it becomes 84,490, this is just another subtotal. It doesn't affect the net. right? They might want to see a different subtotal for other reporting purposes. But the net value is not affected with this 10,000. The net value that the customer has to pay. Okay, so two things you are trying to observe here, or three things. One is that you should be able to see the rebate condition type in the invoice. And if you want to see it on the sales order also, there's a requirement that I'll show you later. That's a process showing rebate condition types on the sales order. Point number one. Point number two, the rebate condition type is statistical. Right? You can see the check mark here. So this does not affect pricing your base price discounts taxes they'll all act as though the rebate condition type does not even exist so where exactly does this total of 10000 affect the customer it affects in a retroactive way meaning it's accrued against that customer in a certain account it doesn't affect the particular sale that's happening in this case, this particular invoice, but it gets accrued. You want to see it? Save it. And if you look at the accounting document, which is, let's go back, VF03. Look at the document flow. And here is our accounting document. Do you see the 10,000 here? So 10,000 debit and 10,000 credit. One goes to 884010 GL account, another goes to 89000 GL account. This is called rebate accruals. 
and the other account is called reserves for other meaning the first entry says that for customer 1200 we are trying to accrue ten thousand dollars which is a separate kitty right we are trying to accrue more money into that kitty for that specific customer and it doesn't affect the sale of what the transaction is it doesn't affect the list price so we are accruing ten thousand dollars into the customer's kitty but we are not going to pay him just yet and we are going to accrue the same amount in the reserves meaning this is the company reserves the company might eventually be liable to pay that ten thousand right it might or it might not depends on the terms and conditions of that rebate agreement maybe until you hit a target you won't be paid but after that customer hits the target you'll be liable to pay as a company right so that's why you put the ten thousand dollars into the reserves account so the accrual account reserves account that's how a rebate condition type hits the gl accounts okay so we have created a transaction and seen the accruals as well right so we started with creating an order and then deliver it and then finally invoice it and during the invoice we did see the rebate condition type that we have created as part of the rebate agreement we have seen the amount as well so this is this example so you have created a sale right and a certain percentage of it got accrued right in this case ours is was not a percentage but it was based on the quantity so we have created an order for a certain amount certain quantity and for each quantity we have accumulated hundred dollars right so a total of ten thousand dollars got accumulated into the rebate account so this was the accrual that we have created right and so far the amount will be ten thousand this is the total total accrual we have just created one order right and we have seen that this condition type b002 is statistical right and meaning it does not affect pricing right so the in the next chapter we'll see how much we have accumulated so far